We welcome to Flossom Stitches. This is episode number two. I'm Hannah. I'm Stacy. Um, and we are excited to be here. Uh, this is a channel about cross stitching, um, and some quilting, just a little bit, or sewing. Mostly crafting. Embroidery. Embroidery. We do some of that too. Okay. Cool. Well, what did you do this week? Oh, we started homeschooling again. Joe. Yeah. But it's new. Learning something new. Most of it's online for him. Oh, that's lovely. Which I haven't done with the other boys. And, um, pretty nice. Well, now you don't have to be on top of him to get stuff done. Do they give him the, deadlines? The... <laughs> Yes. Okay. He has okay. deadlines. I have to monitor. Oh, um, okay. We'll have to keep an eye add on a few more books and keep an eye on it. But overall, instead, I'll spend the year doing the fun stuff I like with him. Yes. Because he's stitching and he likes it. That's good. It's very good. Um, what did you do this week? I sent my brother off to boot camp today. Well, technically he goes tomorrow, but I got to see him before he goes. Oorah. Oorah. I don't think that's the right one. It's probably not. I watch NCIS while I... Well, that's a lost I, I word. Yeah. yeah, I know. You say ura in the Navy. Marines. Marines. Marines are the ones that say ura. Ooh, ooh. But they're... Ne- oh, you're right. Nope, that's separate, technically. You're right. They're the yeah, Marines. he's going into Army. I don't know what they do. Let's see. What do we do Whips. Whips. What do you have for whips? Now I will stand up and show you. Just tell me this is my job. So I finished. Oh, whips. I whips. you asked for finishes. No, nope. whips. Do you have whips? I have whips. Are we showing our whips? Yes, whips are first. We can show our whips. So I've been working on hands on designs. Woo! They've got some glare. Year of celebrations. And I started a new one. Ooh, or, it's, yes. September. It's September with the color changes Janelle AC listed on, I'm on a uh, Facebook group that does them. So I made it that far. This is Dirty Belfast, which is 32 count. Um, mm, not quite the right color, but anyway, you get the idea. I love the new colors she posted. So I made it that far. Although, I have show on time. The ABCs are just one, one um, piece of floss. And that was, that was giving me <laughs> it. I'm not used to stitching on linen. This is my array into linen. Oh, the second time ever. And then I have been working on Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches. Her, a stitch for Sweet Freedom. I love that one. And I'm stitching it on all the called for, other than I couldn't get uniform blue, so I'm using tin. Ah! I don't remember. Tin roof, maybe. I'll get it out and read it. Yeah, I made it that far, which was this linen. It's very floppy. It's very floppy. So I was doing it stitching in hand. Yeah. Oh, I have one more. And I liked it. I liked the stitching in hand because um, it was easier to find the holes. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So in my last uh, whip is a sapphire mountain hand crafts. Oh it, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. Sapphire mountain hand crafts. There we go. This is the free pattern. But I wanted to test it at first, so <laughs> I created my own from her lemon, and I wanted to do something for the coronavirus thing, so I'm doing a fresh 2020 hope. They're my, those are my coronavirus words. Oh, there you go. And That's cute. I, fin- I finished that part up, and I'm trying to come up with something to weave in and around and finish it off, and I think I'll just make a little pillow out of it or a pinky for something. So this one will be fun. I'm gonna- Okay. Keep doing those this week. Do you want to keep standing? Oh, yes. this isn't a whip. 
Um, I got a lot of little finishes today. To do? Oh, this week. Lots of little finishes. Okay. So this is my only... Whip. Yeah, it goes that way. So that's fabric I dyed myself. Quite proud of it. Oh my word. Uh, yeah, it was just icing. Um, but it's going to be the Witchy Stitchers uh, PSL Zombies. Post picture. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. It what turned out great. I've been saving here? it. Um, purple and pretty golden. Yeah, it was a. I want to say it was red. Maybe wine. It might have been wine with a yellow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it turned out good. Um, yeah, that's all I have for whips. Oh, all right. Nothing super huge. Ah! That you're working on that. She finished Oops. stuff quickly. I did. She's good. She's well, I just did lots, like I said, I did lots of little things. All right. Okay. So finishes. I did. Oh, I need to stand back up and show me. Put them on the board because they're easier to see. Alright. That okay. is Llama Ghost by Lady Stitchy Corn. Stitchy Con? Stitchy Corn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Try to focus on you. There we go. Um, trying new things. There we go. <laughs> everyone said we need to do close ups, so we're working on doing close ups. Um. Yeah, it's just on 32 count gray. I'm not sure what gray it is, but it's really nice for stitching in hand because it's super stiff. It's a nice gray. It's got a nice silver accent to it. I mm -hmm. like that. And then that is uh, Please Don't Summon Spirits in the Bathroom by Night Spirit Studios. I did do some glow in the dark floss, which was interesting to work with. Is that all the white parts? Not all of it, just some of it. The it's the thicker. Yeah, I did the ghost, and then I did the please summon spirits part oh, in okay. glow in the dark. Yep, yeah, that was a lot of fun. That's fun. Um, it's that on camera. hand dyed by Rolanda, so I still have a good piece that I can use for later. And that's a lot more purple showing in it off camera. Yes. Um, and then I finished. I've got a hoop. Just ignore the hoop. Love our hoops. Um, that was Grandma's Quilt by Little House Needleworks. Mm -hmm. It's part of the Happy Little Stitch Shop Stitch Along for Farmhouse Christmas. Uh, the fabric is Natural Ada from Wichelt and DMC. Okay. But isn't that darling? I love that one. I like both ones. I love the expression on that cow's face. That one's Dairy Darling. That was the chicken and the I last one. Conversation. <laughs> Are you taking a picture of me? <laughs> I may animate my animals. A little bit more than it should be. A little bit more than it should be. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I did was I finished a table runner for my mother's birthday. I'll post pictures because I gave it to her earlier today. Um, but it's from Table Tastic by Doug Lecco. Lots and lots of lovely little patterns. Oh, we should be okay. Does she know about this? Oh yeah, I gave it to her today. Oh good, good. Then we can shut it. Well, I don't remember what pattern it was. That's okay. You don't. Remember. You just stitched it. You don't remember? Well, yeah, I quilted it. Oh. Okay. I finished sewing it a while ago. Um. Anything else? No, nope, that's all I got. All right. Okay, your turn. I have one finish. It's not quite pretty. It looks so good. There we go. No? Oh, there. We go. And I'm crooked. There we go. Finished the cackle lozenges by Hands On Design for a uh, blah, 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 apothecary, scary apothecary, with my own color changes. There we go. This is. Anyway, it was fun. I quite enjoyed it once I started doing that frog the second time. Oh, good. It just started flying out of my needle. Sure. I was stabbing lots that 
All last week, and I finished it. Stabbing furiously. <laughs> um, cool. Enjoyably, too. I oh. enjoyed the stabbing. Uh, the Table Runner was done with uh, Clover Meadow Fabrics for Moda by Jan Patek. Patek? Hmm. I don't know that name. I'd never recognized it before. I'd seen some of her fabric, but I hadn't ever recognized the name. So, okay. But they're Good pretty. Job. Thank you. Um, oh, wait, you went last. So what haul did you have? Oh, hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's it. She brought it to me today also. <laughs> I, I didn't even leave the house. I stayed coronavirus safe. Well done. Uh, there are some more of the um, Pat Carson's favorite needles in size 26. I got the ta da 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 da, the petites. What's the full? Not petites. The ones you like. Peacemakers. Peacemakers. I wanted to say pat tapestry needles. Oh. Of course, that's what we <laughs> use. No, I got the peacemakers, and I like them. I like everything about them, but the eye smaller. Oh, really? And it irritates me. So. You might like the John James ones then. The eye's pretty big. Okay. Yeah. I do. I like them, but I have to keep getting my <clears throat> my threader out. Oh. Which I mean, there's nothing wrong with a threader. Yeah. But I'm a lazy lick and stick. It's okay. I'm a lick and stick too. I come from the days of stamps. Look at mm, stick it. I didn't even own a needle threader until I got that in the mail today. Oh. Oh, I don't like those. The little wire pops out. Oh. Well, I've never but used one. I'm a fussy sewer. I'm very so fussy. Everything's got to be like over planned. And then I'm not having any fun, so then I have to put part of it away. And, oh, I'm trying, I'm at home trying to keep all the needles separate. And the Pat Carsons have gold all in the eye area. Oh, that's nice. Which is nice, but it seems like a little bit on the outside came off. And I'm, then I spent a whole night. A whole night I could have been stitching, sorting needles. You know, I'm like, oh, that the round circular circular thing you get in a kit of mm -hmm. needles, all the kinds. I'm, which ones went with this? And I'm trying to match eyes. And which one's the free one I got with my order from Shepherd's Bush? And, <laughs> oh, I just, I just keep them in the package. It's okay. I reorganized Smart. all my fancy floss. You did? Yesterday, two nights ago. Yeah, so I didn't get any stitching done that night. Did we get to see? Uh, I'll show you later. I wasn't going to show later. it on tape. Oh, I did learn something. Oh, were you going to ask me that? We do that next. Not yet. Um, What's your haul? I got some mail. So this is my... Now I'm singing Blue's Cools. Here's the clues. Here's, Here's the, the mail. mail. It never fails. This is my Be Stitch Me fabric of the month. This is 20 <gasps> counts. <laughs> Verdal. What? So it's, it's basically an even on. weave. I have to get something. Keep talking. But it's lotus and it's beautiful. Oh, yes. That is gorgeous. I just sat there, just, it's so soft. Hang on. I have to look for this. It's 20 count what? 40. 40 count. Oh, 40. I thought you said 20. Oh, no, 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 no. 40. So it'll wow. be 20 count if you do two, one over two. Yes, it will. Just... It's so soft. It's delicious. It's like the difference between the least expensive thing of sheets and the most expensive. Uh-huh. Um, I already have a pattern planned for it. I don't have the pattern yet, but I will. That is gorgeous. You did say you've switched all your fabrics to 40 count. I did. Um, except for this one. This one was suggested to be a 32 count. So this is for the, um, what is it? The Dark Sea Queen, the Deep Sea Queen Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I got my fabrics from Under the Sea Fabrics. Under the Sea. <laughs> so it's Bewitched be Joblin. So 32 count. Isn't that pretty? It is. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I know. 
And then I also got my it's a, it's a specialty bead thing. pack. Very exciting. I have all my fluffs. I have all You're, my threads ready to go. Let's see this. What is this? Oh, bead pack. Oh. Yep. I'm all set. She I'm ready. It, needle, it comes it out like. in a week and a half, I think. Yeah, it's a beading needle. Oh, and it's on a duck. Look, is that cute? cute? You have to see this duck. That's so cute. Who said this? Under the Sea Fabrics. Look at it. It's holding the needle. So I'm, I'm very excited. Um, really pretty. Yeah. Yep. I love aqua though, anyway. Oh, I know. And then I also got Cosmo Floss. I've never stitched with Cosmo Floss before, but I'm very excited. Josh was surprised how soft they are. Mm -hmm. It's a nice floss. Oh, those almost feel like silk. Uh huh. Oh, wow. They didn't have two of the colors, but I, they said they should get more in all the time. So I'll just call later this week. But it's for the uh, stitch bill. Stitch bill. Yep. How much is in one of these? Like uh, eight yards? Eight meters. How does that? I've looked this up before. You'd think I'd remember. I know. I think is it's... a meter a little more or a little less than a yard? I think it's a little less. I think it is a little less. That's really, really nice. I, I know. like So I'm that. very excited. I might start that. I've got my 25 count fabric. And then I'm going to stitch it on. Oh, let's. Oh, it's a nice white. Yeah. Again, you have a bag that matches. You promised to show us your bags. I did, but I didn't get it ready. Well, they haven't seen this one. Here, I don't want to show the bag. Okay, so this is this is Bonnie and Camille fabric from Early Bird, which mm -hmm. is why I put my Bonnie and Camille in in pattern in the bag. And then it has that cute flower. I don't know where I got that from. That was that's a just so pretty. Fat quarter bin it's acquisition. Like a... <sighs> acquisition. Yeah, it's a gonna. Yeah, so you just stitch, I think it's two over two. I haven't stitched on the gonna, I don't think. Yeah, but it's 25 count. I've never, I've always done one over one on 25 count. I've never done one over two, or two over two. So it'll be equivalent to, uh, I know, you already know. What, a 12, 12 and a half? Yeah, about Ada. 12 and a half. So a little bit bigger. Oh, how but fun. But it'll be fun, and I can hang it up right there. I've got a frame for it and everything. It's all ready to go. I love it. Are you going to put it in the white kind of a frame like she did? Uh, no, it's a, um, almost a whitewashed wood. Oh, that'll be so pretty, too. So it's not a solid too. white. Yeah. That'll go well with the the white fabric. It'll accent against Yeah, nice exactly. That's what I again. wanted. I like that. Um, I also got a pattern. They're so pretty. They really are. So those llamas, she has a whole set of Halloween llamas and... She has a whole set of Christmas llamas, too. And I do a tree for most holidays. Yes. So our fall tree is up right now because I'm so done with summer. Insert a picture. Okay. And, <laughs> um, so I'm getting ready for Halloween, and I'm getting my Halloween decorations, and I need just little things. And the llamas are so little and so cute and so perfect oh, that I got all of them. So I'll post pictures. And then I also got the 2020 mascot. Mascot. Yes. To stitch? Yeah, it's the it's a pattern. Oh no, it's gone. I'll post a picture. I don't remember who it's by, but I'll post that as well. And then I got this other one called phone wallet and keys. Uh, phone wallet keys and mask by That's Top what? Knot Stitcher. I can just insert a picture. Oh, that's true. But it's little. Oh. Isn't that cute? And then I have. have I, mm, I've got the color to dye that. Fabric mm -hmm. that I dyed. For this? Yeah. Not for this, but I had it. And I figure it'll be perfect for that. That's pretty too. Yeah. Just a 16 count, Ada. 16's a nice size yep. to stitch on. Nice big. dyeing is fun. 14's a little too big. Yeah, I like 16 count. You get good coverage. works well. Um, that looks nice. That's all I got. That's all you got. That's all I You've got. You've been busy. I was. 
very, very busy. It's a very productive week. Lots of little things. Oh, I died. Some you fabric. did. I did. This was fun. I took um, this. They're just. I was testing, but I'm getting smarter about it for the fact that um, I'm cutting the fabric smaller, and I'm measuring out and keeping track of what I put in for each. So you're not just winging testing. it. I even cooked it in the oven. Well done. <laughs> I like it. This is a, it's an Ada, 16 count Ada, or 18. What is that? 16. I think 16. And I did it with teal and tan. Here, it won't focus if it sees us. Oh, I can put that there. So anyway. How oh, fun. I liked it. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to make it small and stitch them together after I put just a little design on it. I want to make a, a, a needle fob. Oh, fun. That'll be yeah. fun. That's uh, fun. Yeah, I was supposed to die this week, but that didn't happen. I was supposed to die this week. That doesn't sound good. Die fabric. I was supposed to die <laughs> fabric this week, <laughs> and that didn't happen. Apparently my body needed to recover, so I slept for the first half of the week. Oh, I'm proud of you. Good job. Great. Good job. Great. <laughs> um, oh, what did you learn this week? I wrote it down. Hang on. What I, oh, I learned about two things. I learned about stitching in hand, and I tried it. Oh, yeah. Which was very nice because, but I, I adapted it for the learning purposes. I'm learning, like I said, to stitch on linen. And since this linen is so floppy and gathering all that fabric into my hand was wearing it out. So I still had my fabric in the hoop. I can't remember which floss tuber said it. She said, just make the tension in the hoop less and then you can stitch in hand with your hoop. Oh, it went whew, yeah, That's twice so as fast. Um, and I liked it. I liked it a whole so very much. And then I was learning today about, I wrote it down. Oh, Jean Farish Needleworks. That's the name of her floss tube, Jean Farish Needleworks. And I learned about Taylor's Tax. Um, oh, I've done that. Do you know what those are? Yeah, so you count, it's every 10? 10 or 20, whichever you like. Yeah, if you're doing a great big long line, you cross every 10. Oh, like is that with what you a cross? She, she didn't make a cross in the spot. She just did her regular crosses. But then she took a little piece of floss and went at it at a 90 degree angle, just um, under, up, under, up. Oh. So that you could pull it out. Oh, I know. We'll show from here. So I always do a um, based stitch. I have to find the middle. I was taught to find the middle. Oh, I can't do that. And so I throw into it a long, it's just one thread, one single, and it's sewing thread. It's not floss. Because oh, so you can forbid you throw it away. Yeah, like a basting stitch. Okay. Um, but she did that every, uh, she did it every 20. I think I would do it every 10 if I were keeping track of something large. And then, um, you know, if you're, you keep track of your count that way, which well, makes sense. Smart. My sister, Deborah, she, um, she goes through her fabric and grids it with thread every oh, 10 in each direction. And I, uh, you talk about patience at the beginning. I no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't have the patience Hard for that. So, Jean, I'm going to try that on my big project I have planned for next year. So, that's big my project planned for next year? Uh-huh. Is that the thingy that's coming this week? No. Oh. It's not the thingy coming. Well, I hope it comes this week. Oh, I hope so. I've got I've got some mine. other things coming. I had an order from 123 Stitch, and they're like 20 minutes away. And so I was like, oh, cool, because I order from them all the time. Yes. And now you can't go pick it up anymore. Nope. You can't. Which you is have annoying. to wait for it to come in the mail. And normally it's fast, like we maybe like one or two packages. days. Oh, yeah. But it ended up in Boise. What? Yeah. 
So I went to go check it today, and it's like, it's in Boise. And I'm like, cool. So now I'm not getting it until, like, Wednesday. <laughs> what was me? No, I'm teasing on you. I know. First but problem. we live in a world where they come faster. We have Amazon. But not even that. That's it's, like, good. 20 minutes away. <laughs> yes. We should have been. Just throw it to the curb. I'll pick it up, right? Can I just come grab it real quick? <laughs> Please? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do I know what's in that box? Uh, mostly kidding for that Santa sleigh. Oh, so all the beads. Maybe something else we talked about? Not that one. Not that, Not that one. one. That one hopefully will come next week. We'll see. I hope so. Oh, I'm so excited. I lived by the seat of my pants. And I'm just... so proud of you. <laughs> Jumped so in. So proud of you. <laughs> but I'm very excited. You even got 40 count linen and everything. You cheered. I did. You full on cheered when I told you what I there did. There was a you happy went, dance in the kitchen. And you never. <laughs> She's a very reserved, logical girl. But when she is happy, it, there is a dance. It's fun. Yes. It's all very exciting. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. What no, do you... that's not That's not my big project. That's not your big project? Ooh, we're going to have to find out what this is. Um, What do you have this week? So do I have do you have any plans? I am going to try and get all of the words done on a sweet liber a sweet freedom. Oh, okay. And a, but I am trying to learn my new thing. Um, working on more than one project at a time. I have thoroughly realized I am a, a monogamous. I said it. Stitcher, but I think that's because I learned stitching in the day when. You did one thing. You also don't have a ton of space. That's true. To store stuff. You don't. But I have vertical space now. I'm emptying the school drawers since we're not using them anymore. <laughs> the counting blocks and the preschool lessons oh, kind no. of leave. So anyway, yeah, I'm <laughs> learning and I thought it would be fun and you get bored and frustrated with something. So it was quite nice when I got irritated with cackle lozenges from scary apothecary to tuck it away and tell myself you're mm -hmm. not going to stitch on that at all for the whole month of july go work on something else and so then by the time i picked it back up oh, my soul had cleansed of it and i was ready to go afresh and it went quite quickly then i i whipped that out in two weeks which is fast for me um so now i'm going to practice learning to stitch on more than one thing at a time okay get more done on that. I am going to make another project bag, which means, okay, let's be logical. Do you want me to come home? I might pick the fabric in one week. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'll get the whole get, thing done. You going to do it? I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I will pick the fabric and maybe get it cut out. I have a fear of cutting a fabric. I will ruin it. You're not going to ruin the fabric? No, because I'm going to remember. If you do, it doesn't matter. Go get more. Go, get more. Go out to the Amen. shed and find more from your bin. <laughs> Let's be logical. What about you? What are you planning to do this week? That's I'm going to work on my stitching. zombie pumpkin spice lattes. And I need to catch She's up on my there. farmhouse Christmas. Where I've got one more. Yeah, the new one's coming out. She's going to start shipping it out this week. Okay. So I've got that done. I love your farmhouse Christmas. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I talked Josh into getting a pencil tree. A what? A pencil tree, like the little skinny Christmas trees. Oh, with the pieces coming out? Yeah, oh. just the fake ones. They're the really tall, really skinny ones. Is it wood or gra uh, grass? Grass. <laughs> no, it's the green branches. Fake yeah. Tree. Oh, okay. I was thinking the wood ones that they used to... They'd oh, store flat, too. but yeah. then they'd spiral them out, and you could stick suckers in them at Christmas. That would be kind of fun. But I don't think I'd I like want your a Christmas tree one. idea. Well, because I have my half. Okay, so the tree we use because yeah. we're in an apartment. It's a half tree. So cute. So, so it's cute. basically a tree cut in half. So it pushes right up against the wall, and it's fantastic. It's it like really the perfect is. size. But I have enough ornaments for my Christmas stuff that it covers it. And I didn't want, I'm going to make these into ornaments, okay. and I didn't want to put it on there because it would make it too busy. Oh, you're doing them ornaments. Yeah, like they are in the pattern. Oh, I thought because they're on that fabric, they were all going, oh, oh, I love that. 
Yeah, see their cute little ornaments. They've yeah, got the cute yes, little yes. bells on the edge. They're darling. They're absolutely darling. Of course, she's one of my favorite designers. Oh, I know. I love it. Um, and so I was trying to talk Josh into getting a, a small pencil tree because it'll go in that corner next to the TV. Yeah. And he said yes. <laughs> so we get two Christmas trees. I'm very excited. <laughs> very, very blessed. Very lucky. Thank you. Oh, I like that. It's quite happy. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. What? My other... I don't have any Christmas stitches. I've got to pick... Really? Yeah. Huh. I well, I have the kitty that I thought the little girl oh, yeah. could stitch, but she can't. So I want to stitch that one. But that then made my brain remember... I need a Christmas skirt. We've only been married 32 years, and we don't... Like a tree skirt? A tree skirt, yes. Oh, okay. For the... the tree, and I was going to ask you to help me figure out how to... Fat Quarter Shop has quite a few lovely patterns. Oh, thank you. Yes. You know my rug I did? Nice. Someone made a tree skirt like that. My jelly roll oh, rug Oh, the jelly there. roll rug. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. It was so cute. She's made a great okay. big rug, and even, like, she had it go up... Like there's a little lip Yeah, in the it's got to come up to hide the fake part of the tree where there's no real trunk and where the wires yeah, come Yeah, so out. she was able to do that. So it went up and it came out nicely. And then you cut down the middle and finish that. I knew you would know what to yep. do. I got she you. always has the best ideas. I got you. When it comes to sewing. And then you can use the Hollyberry fabric that you love. Oh, I do. By Cory Yoder? Yes. My thing hasn't, I haven't gotten an invoice for it yet. But I'm supposed to be doing you the You bought month. it. I did. I did. I did the block of the month club from Fat Quarter Shop. That's a good idea. I'll do the tree squirt out of squirt. The tree, tree squirt. squirt. You probably will need two jelly rolls. Okay. But I'll look and see if I can find that pattern. Ooh. Cool. Decision made. Did do I, I have to cut the fabric to do it or because there's No, because you get a jelly roll and it'll get good. done. I don't have to cut the You have fabric. to decide what order you want your fabric in, <laughs> but other than that. Oh dear heavens. You can just unroll the jelly roll and do it in that order. I've done that. I may or may not have decision <laughs> issues. It's okay. That's decision making. That's what I'm here for. I've got you. Good. We'll talk about some pattern <laughs> decisions before I leave today. Cool. I'm good. You good? <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. I am so happy. I have been contemplating reasons why I'm so happy. One of them is, oh, I love having a daughter to discuss this <laughs> stuff with. And one son that stitches with me. But he won't sit and talk about it for hours or no. an hour. Ew. This is so fun. Something to look forward to. Oh, I'm having a ball. And it's having making me stitch more. Our so like, accountability to our new friends. Yes. It's making you stitch yes. more. Me too. Great. And I like it. And my family likes it. And Love what you do. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, yeah, I think we're good then. We're awesome. Yeah, we're so good. Um, All right. Yeah. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for sharing this for lack of cheesiness, or I guess it is pretty cheesy, for sharing this time and this journey with us. We are, we're happy to be here, and we're very excited that everyone else is here too. We are. So. Thank you for watching. Have a flossome day.